Anderson Cooper 360, weeknights at 8 and 10 on CNN. Hey, welcome back. Keeping them honest tonight, a thread that really all parents need to know about. Colorado health officials are investigating three deaths to determine if they're tied to a batch of synthetic marijuana that sent close to 150 people to the hospital. It's not an isolated problem either. Synthetic designer drugs are flooding into the United States, mostly from China, and they're being sold to younger and younger teenagers. The highs they deliver can be very, very potent, dangerously so. They cause psychotic reactions, kidney failures, some suicides. Law enforcement, though, is having a tough time just keeping ahead of the chemistry involved. Our investigative correspondent Drew Griffin recently went along on a major raid and was able to show just how easy it could be for your teen to buy and use synthetic drugs. Here's his report. All teens can go. Get four. Get four. The Target convenience stores in Terrebonne Parish, Louisiana. We're behind the counters, stuffed in backpacks, even a winter cap. These tiny sealed packets of what police say is synthetic marijuana, selling for $20 to $30 a piece. It's just another poison. Uh, people call it drugs, but I call it a poison. What it is is actual chemicals sprayed on plants and sold in packages that clearly say not for human consumption. But in reality, that's exactly what they're used for with often tragic results. According to the DEA, more than 200 new synthetic drugs have come into the U.S. in the last four years, known as spice and bath salts. Law enforcement say they are designed to mimic the highs of marijuana, cocaine, and other controlled drugs. But unlike those controlled drugs, this stuff you can easily buy online on hundreds of sites on the Internet that say it's legal. We did it. These are all 200 milligrams. It says novelty collector's item, Afghan Black Ultra, and Blueberry Haze. Collector's item, not for human consumption, is what it says on this product description. I wonder why you would collect this stuff. We sent these collector's items off to a chemical lab to determine exactly what is inside them. Robin Smith already knows what they can do. He wanted to know if I could read his mind. He was having some hallucinations, hearing voices, and that, that scared me. He told me that he had smoked spice. And my reaction was <laughs> that he had gotten it out of the kitchen cabinet. Smith's son was 15 when he smoked spice, a chemical version of marijuana. He tried to kill himself before seeking help. He has spent the last three years in and out of psychiatric hospitals. We had a normal functioning child. And the next day we had a non-functioning child who did not want to live, to, who did not want to be here, who was hearing things and seeing things. Over the last three years, more than 40 states and the federal government have passed laws outlawing certain chemicals used to make the synthetic drugs, but the manufacturers have stayed one step ahead of the law by constantly altering the chemical composition. Once they alter that chemical, um, it is no longer a controlled substance. So it's a game? It is. Every time even the hint of a regulation comes for a particular chemical compound, they're already developing the next mode. These chemical companies have a new chemical compound that is ready to take the place of the drugs that we control. Is there any legitimate industrial purpose for those chemicals? We are not aware of any legitimate industrial or medical use for these chemicals. Which brings us to our online purchase of these synthetic drugs, which we sent to the Cayman Chemical Lab in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It is here our packages of Afghan Black Ultra, Ivory Dove, and Ocean Snow were tested. All of them contain dangerous chemicals sold, according to Greg Endres, with only one purpose. We found a variety of substances, including synthetic cannabinoids, and in one case, a hallucinogenic tryptamine. We found an amphetamine analog, all of which I would consider designer drugs. How dangerous is this stuff from a chemical compound situation? Uh, quite dangerous. There's a whole variety of uh, reported effects ranging from uh, rapid or irregular heartbeat, hallucinog uh, hallucinogenic effects, seizures, psychosis, uh, and there have been several reported suicides. Andrus is vice president of chemistry here and works closely with law enforcement to try and help them fight an infestation 
of chemically produced poison swarming the U.S. So when the package says not for human consumption, this is a collector's item, no way. I don't believe it. Afghan Black Ultra, which looks like marijuana, linked most closely with a known and dangerous compound called XLR-11, a drug now made illegal, a Schedule I drug in the same law enforcement category as heroin. And the website we bought it from says they don't sell banned substances. Cayman Chemicals' Paul Kennedy ran the test to compare our purchases to the chemical makeup of known drugs. And our Afghan Black Ultra had something else, a surprise spike. That is the tryptamine, the hallucinogen. A hallucinogen added for an added high. And the other packages, Ocean Snow, Ivory Dove Ultra, Vanilla Sky, they all contain methylpropamine. So this little cute little package that looks like you might be getting some kind of a breath freshener is actually a, a variety, you might say, of crystal meth for a layman. And in your computer, methylpropamine. Mm -hmm. So where are the drugs coming from? Mostly from labs in China, where the chemicals are produced and exported in bulk containers to the U.S. Once they get here, they're sprayed on plants or other compounds, packaged and sold online and in places like that convenience store in Terrebonne Parish, Louisiana. Just one site over 35 states, part of a massive crackdown by the DEA and local law enforcement. The results? 172 arrests and more than 20,000 pounds of synthetic drugs seized. So, Drew, in your report, you said that most of these chemicals are coming from China. Why can't they be stopped? You know, it's tough, Anderson. According to the DEA, they're smuggled into the U.S. in bulk, sometimes called research chemicals, though everybody I talk to in this story says there's really no industrial use for this stuff. The DEA says the United States is in dialogue with the Chinese government to try and stop the flow of these chemicals. But obviously, you know, while they talk, these poisons continue to arrive. And they're getting sold as, as collector's items or in packages that say not for human consumption, right? Yeah, it does appear to be a, a really dangerous joke. You saw how easy it was for us to purchase this stuff. Quite frankly, I don't think it can be stopped, Anderson, which is why parents especially need to be aware of these things. This stuff is not legal. More importantly, it's not safe, and there's absolutely no government controls of what's inside these packages. You know, they call it synthetic pot. It's not pot. It's just chemicals. Mm. Anderson. All right, Drew, thanks for the reporting.